This is example 6.9c. Solve the difference equation x of k plus 2 minus 3 of x of k plus 1 plus 2 of xk equal to delta k with x0 equal to x1 equal to 0. To solve this problem, we take the z transform of each term. So the first term, we are going to have z transform of x of k plus 2 then minus 3 of z transform of x of k plus 1 plus 2 z transform of xk equal to the z transform of delta k. Applying the first shift theorem, we find that the z transform of xk plus 2, which is here now, is equal to z square z transform of xk minus z square the value of x and 0 minus z the value of x at 1 this is the First term we have, then minus the second term, which is equal to minus 3, the depth transform of xk plus 1, so I'm going to use here, is equal to z term, the z transform of xk minus z term the value of x at 0 then last term got 2 term z transform of xk Then on the right hand side, we have the z transform of delta k, which is equal to 1. Now, put in the value of x0 and x1, both of them equal to 0 here. So you have this thing is 0, this thing is 0. This term is 0 here, so they are all 0 here, so I can put it all 0 here. Therefore, the last equation can be simplified to z square times um, z transform of xk. minus 3z times z transform of xk plus 2 times z transform of xk equal to 1. You can factor out all the z transform of xk. You have z square minus 3z plus 2 equal to 1. Therefore, z transform of xk is equal to 1 over z square minus 3z plus 2 which can be factorized 
as 1 over z minus 2 and z minus 1. Split them up into two terms. This is equal to a over z minus 2 plus b over z minus 1. And what is a and b now? You can use cover up method. So let's try to find out what is a and b. So you know that this is supposed to be 1 over z minus 2, z minus 1. Therefore, a times z minus 1 plus b times z minus 2 1. So you can find a plus z equal to then you get a is equal to 1. Now put z equal to 1, then b is equal to minus 1. So therefore, z transform of xk is equal to 1 over z minus 2 or minus 1 z minus 1. So, xk is the inverse z transform of 1 over z minus 2 minus inverse z transform of 1 over z minus 1. Now, we know that inverse z transform of z over z minus 2 is 2 power k. Inverse z transform of z over z minus 1 is u k. According to the second shift theorem, if I have z transform of 2 power k minus 1, u of k minus 1, this is equal to z power minus 1, z transform of 2 k, which is 1 over z times z over z minus 2, which is 1 over z minus 2, which is the answer you hear. And then, if you have just transform of 1 power k minus 1, uk minus 1, this is equal to z power minus 1 times z transform of 1 power k, or uk, which is equal to 1 over z times z over z minus 1. So this is what you have here. Therefore, the answer xk is equal to 2 power k minus 1 uk minus 1 as indicated here for the inverse transform minus u of k minus 1. And this is the answer for xk eventually.